Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes here on my channel and today I have a monthly lifestyle box that's once again been sent to me for review. It is called Mindful Souls. Now this is a little bit more of a spiritual, mystical box. There's a lot of crystals and stones and sometimes some aromatherapy. It's not too far on the uh, witchy end of the spectrum for this category. There are definitely a lot of boxes though in this category. This is, this is the only one that I open. I know that Kitty over at Kitty's Boxes opens several other boxes in this realm as well as Tracy at She Crafty. So if you're looking for this kind of box then you might want to take a look over at their channels but I do think this is a really nice happy medium. So let me tell you a little bit more about Mindful Souls. The box is $39.97 per month. Of course I have a code for you. It is MS as in Mindful Souls underscore Noelle and that will save you 20% off your entire first order. So that includes the subscription box as well as their online boutique where they have a lot of really gorgeous items and then just in case it is the first time that you are seeing it here on the channel because I don't open it every month just when they send it to me for a review let me go ahead and read the description for you so it says a monthly subscription service delivered right at your doorstep each month to assist in creating self-love rituals while surrounding you with relaxing and uplifting energy every box will delight you with six to eight carefully hand-picked items ranging from calming crystals aromatherapy items gemstone jewelry to home decor wellness goodies and natural cosmetics a rejuvenating and refreshing gift designed to balance your mind and brighten your aura. So again, I don't necessarily believe in the properties of stones, but I appreciate them for their beauty. I learn a lot from a lot of you who know more about stones and essential oils, like Jessie over at Jessie Miller Unboxings and more. She has a lot of information about some of the beautiful items, and she often unboxes this one as well. So you might want to check that out over on her channel. But let's go ahead and get into this one now. Mindful Souls is a little bit different from a lot of subscription boxes. Not everyone gets the same box every month. They're actually numbered. So when you first subscribe, you'll probably start with box one or two. I have opened some of the more recent ones. I think in the 20s or probably they're in the 30s by now, but I believe they started sending them to me in sequence. So I think this is box number seven. I think I'm not quite to box number eight, but you'll probably know from the thumbnail because I will probably have figured it out by then. All right, you guys, let's open it up. So inside they have their product booklet. Now the booklet has kind of gone in different incarnations as well. Sometimes it's just a card that has information on the back. Sometimes it's been more of a magazine with little mini articles and information about products that you can find in the online boutique. This one looks like just a single folded page, which I think is kind of great. Now you don't necessarily need a lot of paper information, but I do like a box that tells me about each of the items inside. Um, and this is the box itself. I love that they have printed it on the interior interior as well. It says, and just like that, you've opened a whole new world of possibilities. So love that. We do have an affirmation card, which we'll talk about in a second, but you guys can kind of see nestled inside. It really is like a treasure box. They have a lot of the items actually have their own little gift bags, which is very nice for re-gifting, but also for storage. And it also makes these unboxings fun because I don't know what I'm opening until you open it along with me. They do often include a beautiful sticker. This time we have a hand which is holding a lotus flower and kind of like in a mudra as well. So that's kind of a cool one. I like the black and white. It kind of looks like a tattoo design. Let's see what our affirmation is. So just it says mindful souls on one side. The other side af says affirmation for prosperity. And the affirmation is my good comes from everywhere and everyone and I do believe in affirmations and looking on the bright side and being more positive and having that positivity be attracted back into your life instead of having that uh, attitude of lack or want uh, if you are positive and you think that good is coming to you from everywhere and everyone I truly do believe that that will happen because God will just open your eyes to seeing a little bit more of that and being able and willing to receive it as well let's actually have prosperity be our secret password for today so if you're newer to my channel we do all kinds of giveaways and there's always secret passwords every month usually it's between 10 to 14 of them sometimes a little bit less sometimes a little bit more when you come across a secret password you want to enter it along with your contact information in the Google form that is linked for you in the description box below I think these days you have to click uh, see more versus a little arrow arrow and then that will open up the description box which has all kinds of codes and information and that link for you you do have to be 18 years or older you do have to have a US or Canadian mailing address there's a couple extra 
rules for my Canadians because I just need some help with the shipping if you decide to go ahead and have me send you a mystery box. And just as a reminder, it is in no way affiliated with YouTube or any of the boxes I open here. Just my way of saying thank you so much for watching my videos. At the end of the month, I go through and I use a random number picker to select a few winners to receive a mystery box as my way of saying thank you. So today's secret password is prosperity because indeed I am wishing you all a very prosperous new year. All right, so I'm gonna put the booklet up in front of me and we will get started. As I said, you can see inside there's information about all of the items. We do get some really beautiful jewelry. Sometimes the jewelry is a little bit chunky, a little bit more like hippie boho than what I tend to wear, but sometimes it's definitely stuff that I can kind of work into a more eclectic look. Just to read about the back, it says, mindfulness is a key to self-love. Here at Mindful Souls, we want to help you become a better version of yourself, happy, healthier, and more fulfilled. At the core of what we do lies a very simple truth. By showing yourself the love you deserve, you're teaching the rest of the world how to love you. And I think that is something that we can definitely agree with no matter what your faith is, where you're coming to this box from. So, all right, first thing. Let's go ahead and open up one of the little bags. There are, looks like six items in here today, and only one of them is not in a little bag, so we'll save that for maybe in the middle. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. So this is an example of lovely jewelry that I can totally use. Look at this beautiful stone necklace, which they're also saying you can, of course, uh, double up or quadruple up as a bracelet. It's an Indian agate beads necklace bracelet. The essence of Indian agate is meditation, joy, and exploration. Because of the harmonizing qualities of agate and its emotional energies of removing and releasing resentments and bitterness, it is also considered to be by many to be an excellent stone for helping to heal and improve relationships. Wow, you guys, this is so pretty. Look at all the gorgeous greens and colors in there. And then there are, of course, these like more rainbow colors in there. And right in the center, we have uh, almost like it looks a little Rastafarian, but I think that is so pretty. And it is uh, stretchy enough, of course, so that you can double it up and wear it on your wrist, almost like a mala bracelet or a mala necklace. Um, of course, you could also double it up probably over your head twice if you wanted to, but I'm just loving those green stones. So that is an example of jewelry that I can definitely incorporate incorporate into my life. Um, I am also a yoga instructor, so it kind of goes along with some of my uh, yoga vibes when I'm kind of dressing, dressing for work, I suppose. Here is a slightly littler bag. So let's see what's in here. I actually see, yeah, there's five bags and then one box. Ooh, we got another bracelet, you guys, and this one is also beautiful. It has a little disc with the Buddha on it, and then it's also in beautiful shades of green. It's an Amazonite bracelet. Amazonite is known as the lucky hope stone, as it will be lucky for all your hopes and dreams. It brings calming and soothing energies, making it especially useful in times of stress. Ooh, we all need this. It says they're also a powerful healing crystal for the throat chakra, helping to magnify your intentions and affirmations. Blue crystal energy will unblock and balance balance the throat chakra, which is traditionally uh, associated with the color blue. So um, maybe these are supposed to be more blue than green. <laughs> uh, it says, uh, let's see. Darker shades of blue encourage the power of truth, while lighter shades carry the power of flexibility, relaxation, and balance. Good to know. So the image of the one that they're showing has a lot more uh, variation in the color. There's even some reds, etc. But I love this in all of the creams and greens and blues. And that is really, really pretty. And again, a nice stretch bracelet. Again, I'm not usually a stretch bracelet person, but it works for these kinds of beaded styles for sure. All right, let's go ahead and open the item that is not in a bag. So we have something from Goloka. It is a patchouli natural essential oil. Now, patchouli is not one of my favorites. I don't know how very many people where patchouli is a favorite, but I'm sure that it has some beneficial properties and reasons for us to uh, enjoy and use it and things. So it says there's a surprise aroma oil. So not everyone got patchouli. So hopefully if you uh, are a patchouli lover, you would get this. Otherwise you might get something else. So they do have a lot of information in here about the essential oil, but I'll just read to you what it says here in the booklet. It says, often we receive signs from the universe which can at times be difficult to grasp. This special aroma oil is one that has been left entirely up to fate. Take this as a sign to fill your home or space with a refreshing scent. Out of the six possible scents, this aroma oil made its way to you to release calming energies. So kind of a little mystery box element in here. It says, all aromas are made from natural ingredients to neutralize orders and bring love into your home. So you could definitely add this to a diffuser or if patchouli by itself is just a little bit strong for you, of 
course you could add it and make your own little blend at home so let's see it's talking here about their how they promote organic farming we love that they protect cows um, and I'm trying to see so patchouli is soothing boosts energy and promotes harmony and then they do have that enclosed leaflet to tell us a little bit more about it and probably about their company so I think that's kind of cool that I they kind of got me with um maybe the uh, message that the universe is sending to me or that God is sending to me is to be a little bit more open-minded and not be so set in my ways in terms of uh, reacting as I did and being like, oh, I got patchouli. Maybe that's that's what the real lesson is here, even more so than what the uh, essential oil is meant to uh, sort of uh, attract or, or promote. All right, let's go on to another little bag. They're very cute. So you can see they're, they do come in different sizes depending on the item, but they do make great little gift bags or jewelry bags, even though they are branded. And you guys know I'm not like super into branded stuff. Ooh, this is kind of cool. So this is a smoky quartz sphere. Now, yes, you guys are going to get that, unfortunately, ring light reflection on it. And you are not going to see how cool this is, but it definitely has that smoky quality. Um, so it says smoky quartz is a protection stone that cleanses and clears negative energy. It is also a grounding stone that transmutes negative energies and facilitates your ability to get things done in the practical world. See, all these ideas and principles sound good to me. It says it enhances organizational skills and is good to have around in the workplace or home office. Smoky Quartz is nature's stone of endurance. If you need an extra boost, carry a Smoky Quartz gemstone with you. It promotes personal pride and joy in living, creativity, opens the path for perception and learning. So again, even if you don't necessarily think that these stones have these properties they can become a nice talisman a nice reminder for you to sort of promote those in your life and you can give thanks to God or whatever entity it is that you want to give thanks to but I like that idea of something uh, in terms of personal pride and joy in living so that's a great idea and it is a really beautiful stone I do like to put stones in my house plants around the house so I feel like that's a good use for them all right, you guys, and they do give you a little notice, again, if you are really into the properties of stones, it says, please note it's important to cleanse and energize your crystals as soon as you obtain them. Allow your crystals to sit under cool running tap water for 10 to 20 minutes. If you are near a natural running river, stones can be placed in an open mesh bag and left for a short time in the natural running water. So that's for cleansing your stones. I know a lot of people like to uh, charge their stones in uh, full moonlight as well. So again, if you're into that, go for it. All right, we got another loose stone. This one, at least you'll be able to see the beautiful, beautiful colors in it a little bit better. This, I believe, is our tiger eye stone. Now, I'm used to tiger eye being more of that really gold and black, but this one is a different variation of it, but it still has that really uh, mesmerizing shimmer to it. Tiger eye is a powerful stone that aids harmony and balance and helps you to release fear and anxiety. It stimulates taking action and helps you to make decisions with discernment and understanding and unclouded by your emotions. Use it for insight and you can be a very lucky person. Tiger eye may bring, bring good luck and protection from the evil eye to the wearer. It is also known to bring clear thinking and insight. Now this would be a very big chunky thing to wear, although sometimes we get some pretty chunky jewelry in this box, but that was a lovely item. So we've gotten two loose stones, one a little bit more tumbled and still very like natural looking. One obviously turned into that perfect sphere. We've gotten two bracelets, one of them that could also be uh, used more as a necklace and then we have one final item to go and that came in one of the smaller bags and it is another jewelry piece so we wound up with two loose stones three jewelry pieces and our surprise aroma oil so this one is actually very very pretty um, now you guys know I'm not super into corded necklaces I feel like it looks a little bit young I usually feel like if there's a real chain it looks a little bit more elegant a little more grown up but this one is a nice simple waxed black chain that does have an extender on it but look at this pendant you guys this is actually really impressive so it kind of has that gunmetal color to the detailing that is surrounding that crystal uh, so it is a red stone necklace it's actually red jasper which I think is a lovely color it says red jasper is no ordinary stone it is a perfect stone when it comes to releasing old fears and suppressed emotions its vibration focuses on spiritual grounding that resonates within the lower three chakras and creates a strong connection to the earth and the lower three chakras are associated with the colors 
uh, red, orange, and yellow, so it makes sense with these warm colors. It says, um, red jasper is a highly protective stone known for building one's strength and guarding against all kinds of threats. So yeah, all of these intentions, all of these ideas that they're presenting through objects in this box, I think are ones that are very, very positive. So it is pretty big. If I, I could put it on a chain, I would want to go with that darker um, kind of gunmetal color if I could match it up. But it is really an impressive stone. It would probably look better on a longer, chunkier chain and then worn over a blouse or a dress. But it could really break up like a plain black sweater in a really nice way. And it's not so like hippie boho that it's not something that I would wear. I do think it is really, really pretty. I like the design of it. It looks like, um, even though they're saying it's red jasper, it I don't know. I was going to say it might look like one of the composite variations where they basically will sometimes grind up a stone and then reshape it. But this does look like it could be a piece of polished and shaped uh, red jasper. It just has a very like uniform look to it. But let's just talk real briefly about everything that we got. Don't forget there was a secret password in this video. So if you missed it, go back, watch, make sure you enter to win a mystery box from me. So we got our tiger eye stone. This is a really kind of cool variation of it. We got our Indian agate beads. Uh, and this is honestly my favorite. I do kind of love those contrasting colors that happen right there in the the middle. We got our red jasper necklace with the very pretty um, metal work on it. We got our smoky quartz sphere which is pretty and um, I'm not sure what I'll do with it but we also got a lovely amazonite bracelet. Mine happens to be in mostly blues, greens, grays, and creams. And finally our surprise aroma oil. You could have gotten one of six variations. I wound up with the patchouli and I'm thinking that the message to me is to be a little bit more open-minded. Maybe try things that I decided I didn't like a long time ago because that does happen where as you get older you try something again you're like oh I actually do like that who knew <laughs> so I hope you all enjoyed this video if you did please help me out by giving it a thumbs up if you haven't already been watching our advent series I invite you to watch that advent series and then of course we still have our regular unboxings every afternoon at 2 p.m pacific and I will see you all very very soon in my next unboxing